Alright, hello. Um, so two game first two games I ever record are top lane. And I suck at top lane. So we'll see how this goes. Should I go deep blade? I think I wanna go long sword. I'm either against Diana or Nidalee. So I think I wanna end up building a hextech. Or not hextech, um Hex Drinker. That's what it is. Who questions my ability? So we'll just do this. Start like that. I don't know what you start on a Wukong. Uh, I just didn't want to do Shivana again. So I'm going to go Wukong. I'm going to go his Q. In the jungle, I like to start his E because it gives you attack speed. But I don't think I need attack speed as much in lane, or at least a burst of attack speed in lane. You know, like you overall it'd be nicer, but I think I'd rather just be getting last hits. So, like I said, when you're top lane, um, you should always, always, always watch your top uh, your jungler's buff if they're not starting it. Um, I think junglers should always start their bottom buff, either if you're blue side, then start your red, if you're purple side, then you start your blue. But it's just because if, uh, if you get invade, then it's so annoying. Your jungler gets put behind and then they can't gank for you. Um, Spear. All right, so I saw the spear. I don't think they'll. I don't know if they're doing anything else with it. I don't think they're gonna be invading, but I have a ward there just in case. So yeah, if if they go, if they steal your blue, I mean, if they steal your jungler's buff, then he's behind, so he can't gank for you. And there's been so many times where I'm a jungler, and then they're like, um, oh, you never ganked for me, or they they blame me for losing their lane. And I'm just like, what do you want me to do? You you put me behind by not watching my buff. Alright, so I'm against a Diana. That's interesting. Adapt to all situations. I actually really like Diana as a champion. I can't really play her anymore. Um, I'm just not very strong. Okay, this is gonna I'm just not very strong with her. Um, she's one of my favorite junglers, though. It's a lot of fun to play Diana. Jukes. My place is at the top. That was the wrong way to go, I think. She should have. Got it. Alright. So, I took it. Perhaps I didn't have to. Uh, I don't know how fast Master Yi is. Uh, he has every opportunity. Like, I mean, I would give him lane packs if he wanted it. But I guess he'd rather get back to farming. I don't. There was a. When Feral Flare first came out, Master Yi was really strong. Um, because, the, I mean. Basically, you build attack speed on him and kill everything. But they've nerfed it a little bit since. So, I don't think he's that good. Um, he's always annoying low ranks because people don't know how to deal with a Master Yi. And he's actually pretty good at coming back. You can set him behind, and if he happens to get a few kills, then he can start cleaning up fights. It's, it's annoying because, you know, there'll be a team fight and then he'll happen to clean up the end of it. And so he gets, like, he gets kills and then thinks, oh, I'm so good, look at all the kills I got. And you're like, no, you cleaned up the last few kills, you, you know. You cleaned up the kills that were left at the end of the fight, which I guess is better than leaving them alive, but not very useful. I and mean, that's not how you... It doesn't mean you're good. But he can be annoying at lower level ranks just because people don't know how to deal with him. You have to stun him. You have to like get rid of his... You have to hard CC him. Um, so she has Ignite. Yeah, she has Ignite. I'd rather not fight her with... She has that up. My journey. Um, so, for the most part, I'm going to be playing a safer lane. 
I'm just gonna let her. Okay, here comes Master Yi again, but the lane is really pushed, so. Never settle for second. Okay, here we go. So. Go. Alpha Strike. Okay, so he got the red buff slow on her, which is good. Alright. My place is at the top. So Diane is a really weird pick top. Um I mean I've done it before. I really like Diana. Any excuse to play Diana, honestly. She's not as strong as some of the champions other champions in jungle right now, which is why I don't play her anymore. But she's one of my favorite junglers to play. And I like her, so any ex any excuse to play her is always fun. But top lane against she picked first, which it I mean fuck. So I mean there could be times where you use her, but I don't think you should start with a Diana pick. Just because you don't really know what you're going into. Alright, so I'm gonna build a brutalizer. And then probably um yeah, let's build a, a Negatron. Get a couple of wards. Uh, let's just put make one ward. And some like that. I think. Oh, they're in Italy to see. Which is really unfortunate for them. I mean it is what it is. DCs happen. Last game, we had a DC. So, they're gonna be... They're gonna be behind. If Nidalee comes back, then it's only been a few minutes. If Nidalee doesn't come back... 4v5s have been won before. I've done it, but it's really, really hard. And it's really, really annoying. So, I'm not going to go in on all of that wave. So, I'm gonna... most part but the thing that a lot of people screw up okay so well, the thing that people screw up when playing 4v5s is they don't take advantage of the fact that there's a person missing so we should be doing everything in our power to make to be a, like hurt them for missing a champion and not just not just in the passive sense of oh we have one less player we need to send Never a sigh on top or something you want to really really I mean, force team fights force dragons and barons and objectives okay so he just got his blue so around 13 minutes the blue's gonna be back my journey's only beginning steel scions red i mean scions up top he's up top you don't need to So I don't know. He's got a lot. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let his alt go. I don't really care about. His, I mean, it is healing him or a lot. Holy shit. Um. So for the most part, I'm just gonna let him do his thing. We should have stolen their red though. So Scion apparently. So I'm gonna start with this. He doesn't have ignite. He can't. You got it. I don't think he has lethal on me. Unless he stays like this. So I'm gonna let him just push for a while. So I'm just gonna heal a little bit. I don't really care what a scion does. It's interesting that he's playing scion. So the longer we let the game go on, the stronger scion's gonna get if he's. Bring me a being a good scion. Show me the path. Right, so I'm missing some farm, which is to be expected by me at least. I'm bad at farming. Every mistake is a lesson. So at about 13 minutes, his blue's gonna spawn, and you know, then when his blue, like I'm gonna try to take it from him. So, take, like, 
So again, when their jungler is up top, you need to be like. If I was this master you right now, I would. So I'm just let him take the damage all he wants. That's not kind of. They should be doing more, honestly, because Scion has to be dealing with me. And Scion actually kind of hurts. To all oh. Perhaps he is like, okay, so he's gonna spend some more. His shield's actually pretty strong. Every mistake is a lesson. I'm gonna let him push. It doesn't really matter to me that he's getting close to my tower. Who I wish it would opinion? go in further, actually. Show me the path. So he's coming. I don't know if we can kill him. I personally think he is wasting his time. He could be a lot. Yeah, I know. I see him. Right. Good. So, you know, it resulted in a kill. But I still think that it would have been, he could be a lot more useful stealing Scion's jungle, taking Dragon, because, uh, so, yeah, it's just really, he's less than useful up top. I mean, it got me, it got him, it got me an assist, so that's gold, but Dragon is a lot more gold for the entire team. I should buy boots. So I should be going towards, if I want to try to take his blue, I should be going for it. Um, it's annoying, because Yi has a lot of true damage too, so he should be able to deal with Dragon with very little help. Never settle for second. There's his, so there's his blue. I'm not even going to show up in lane. So he's pushing my lane right now. He can't Bring me take my tower charge. down. An ally has been slain. Shit, he can't. Fuck. Has been slain. I don't know that. Alright, so apparently he can't take my turret. 29. You got it. He took that a lot faster than I expected him to. Who Not questions gonna... my ability? So that was my bad. I didn't know he could take that fast. One. Why are you why are you here? Show me the path. You didn't gank for me. You didn't hurt him. Why are you trying to lane tax? My journey's only beginning. Ally has been slain. Every mistake is a lesson. to all situations. Killing spree. Okay. Never settle for second. Why would you care about Diana? I don't understand. Like, leave her mid, take dragon. Scion's missing now, so you don't even know you can take it. Oh, man. 
And of course, he's still going for... Alright, so I don't know what's up with this Yi. It, it, it seems to have worked out okay, because they're getting a kill and a dragon, but... Now, I mean, okay, so now we know where Scion is, but... We didn't know where Scion was. I mean, we knew where Scion was at first, he was top. So, Just take right dragon while Scion's top, and they can't contest. So while Scion's mid, uh, Is that all they've try got? pushing. I don't know if they can kill something. Wow, that's cool. So for the most part, I'm just going to kite her. Um, she has not a lot of AP. Alright, so... If I had Ignite, I'd have... Alright, so that actually tanked a lot of power shots, which I wasn't expecting. But I also didn't want to flash. When is dragon? Okay, so 2132 dragon. So, get that. Um, get another ward. I think I want Sunfire Cape next just to have more. I don't want. My ability. So I don't know why Zed's still fighting him. Uh, it's Everyone not really. I don't want to fight her while she has me. She's not even. Is that all they've got? My journey's only beginning. really sucks on their part, they have so many disconnects. Alright, so I don't think I can kill him. He's got lifesteal on me. 
He's got a lot going. He's mostly just pushing the lane, and that's what I'm gonna let him do. Alright, so Diane's back. I should have gone back into the lane, because I have 200 Never gold. Settle for a second. Your team has destroyed the Probably should be building me myself a lot stronger or a lot more attack. Um, but I don't really know what I would build. I don't. I've never played Wukong. Pop. Adapt to all situations. Up. Put me to the Bring me a real challenge. Evidently not. So, just because you're trying to defend the tower doesn't mean you should suicide. Um, it doesn't help your team if you lose. So Zed's coming, so I'm not really afraid. I'm I, like I would be further away than I should be, I guess. There you go. So, shut down. Who questions my okay, So, the others seem to be bought. I saw Nami and Scion for a moment. As long as I'm with Zed, I think I'm just gonna keep pushing. Um, Just run in and die. Let's build that. That's more damage. <laughs> so I completely missed their blue, I guess. Sucks. Never settle for second. Zed shouldn't. Be. Well, I guess, I mean, we didn't know if they were chasing. It's not the worst place because his teammates were close by, but I think he still would have died. yet and she can do a lot of I mean we we have it's good to have an AP your blue So 
Scion's gonna get the kill. Uh, it's gonna kill all of us. No. Okay. So the red bu uh, the red buff burn on Yi and true damage apparently is more than enough. Really don't know what that was about on Twitch. So, I don't know why they haven't surrendered yet. Um, I guess we can bear in. Oh, okay, so whoever... Oh, Twitch disconnected and now he's back. I think it's too late for them, though. Pretty far ahead. I would much rather just, you know, get the loss and move on to the next game. I don't have ye, so that's kind of... To all situations, your team has destroyed the turrets. Every mistake is a lesson. Your team has destroyed a turret. All right, so you just God, the miss might. So it doesn't matter how far ahead you are, you shouldn't be screwing around. You should get smite. You got it. So they wanted a dance party at Baron, and as silly as that would be, you know, that'd be fun or whatever, but I'd rather just get the win for if we end up we throw and lose, that would suck more. So that's not really a fun game, 3v5 or 5v3, so whatever. But 